a number of different ways you can configure your shipping within Neato. In this video, we're going to take you through the steps of setting up flat rate method, but, set, but configuring it manually. From the Setup and Tools menu, go into the Shipping menu. The first step is to set up our service and rates, so select this. And then click Add New in the top right. This gives us a new blank rate table to set up. In here, we need to give it a name set it to active, and set the charge type. We should also set a tracking URL based on the courier that will be delivering this. In this case, I'm just going to choose Australian Post. We can then configure if it will ship to a PO box and any levies and allowances, such as handling cost or package sizes. Once done, click Save. The next step is to set which zones this shipping rate will apply to. There's a few different ways you can do this. You can make it simple and set Australia wide zone by selecting it from the drop down list and clicking add. That'll give you one cost to configure Australia wide. The other way you can do it is by using a carrier's preset zones. For example, if you use the parcel zones, you get a number of different areas within Australia where you can set the shipping cost. If you go to this method, you'll need to set a cost for each zone, the subsequent parcel cost, and a delivery time. Work your way through filling this out. Once you've completed the table, click Save and Close. The next step is to set up the carrier and labelling. Again, from the Setup and Tools menu, select Shipping and this time click Carrier and Labels. Well, you can have specific labels set up for a particular shipping method, in this example, we're just going to add the universal labels to the system. This is a standard generic label that can be used for any shipping method. The important part here is to set up the return address and details. and select our flat rate method to be used for this label. Once done, click Save. Now, we now need to create the shipping method to be used. From the Setup and Tools menu, select Shipping, and click Shipping Methods. In the top right, click Add New, and we get a blank shipping method template. Once again, fill in the name, Set the status to active, choose its visibility to customers and staff. Once you're happy with how it's configured, click to add a shipping category. This will determine which products can use this shipping method. You should also set the rates that we just created as well. And it's advised you tick that this method is only, only applies to products within the configured shipping category. Once done, click Save and Close. We now have a complete shipping matrix configured in your account. This will now be available to use by customers when on the front end of your website when checking out.